Chitz, good to see you. I, look, put, put Meatball aside, in her case aside, for a second, it'll be up to a jury. Who is looking out for this next generation of urban black youth, urban black and brown communities? Certainly not the elected leaders that are part of the Democrat Party. Um, the reason I say that is this. One of the things that's happening here in Georgia, especially in districts that I represent in Atlanta, Georgia, 2% of the kids know how to read. 3% are meeting math proficiency. And so your intro is really sad, but it's also comical at the same time. And I really don't even know, I'm scratching my head, I don't even know where to begin. Um, this is a sad story. Kids should not be out looting, um, but in the same breath, you know, they also don't even know other options because they're in environments where Democrats are saying that it's okay to be in failing schools. What I personally would like to see is more workforce development opportunities. What I would like to see is showing these kids that, you know what, there is so much more than looting. Um, you have an entire life ahead of you. Um, there's so much more than just being on public assistance. But if the Democrats are going to continue to push out policies of public assistance, um, a thousand dollar food stamp check, why not go through a workforce development program and make $80,000 in a certificate based program where you don't need a high school diploma or even a college degree? There are opportunities out there where Democrats are actually suppressing um, those options for people. It's, this is really sad on many levels. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's, it's tragic, right? And the people, I think, actually, who are, are hurt the most, right, are the people who are supposedly being helped by all these projects. Because as you, as you point out, if you can't read and write, um, there, there's not a lot of hope. You don't know anything different. You haven't been taught anything different. Um, there has been this, this drumbeat, right, that if you bring these issues up and you talk about them honestly, even compassionately, um, as you're doing, then somehow you're a racist, right? Voter ID is racist, the education system is racist, the healthcare system is racist, home ownership is racist, the criminal justice system is racist. All these things are racism. Therefore, you can't talk about um, this issue. You bring up education. I agree with you, education is a real problem. But how much of it also is a problem of, of, a, of a lack of parenting? We know that 73% of students attending highly selective colleges came from married birth parent families. We know that single family, the single parent families have a much, much harder time, those kids do, to get ahead in life. And that, that part and the moral education at home part isn't talked about at all. You know, this is a cyclic problem. Um, this is a problem of generational poverty. And so it is easy to say that it's harder. Well, it's, first, let me say it's true. It's true that it's harder for a child to go forward if they're coming from a single parent home. But that still goes back to, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but Meatball, it still goes back to Meatball that she most likely is coming from a household that is also yep. a one parent household. And so this continues if we continue to not actually say the truth. So you're right. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.